This is young Chad. Take a good look at his face. If you think you're unlucky because your girl cheated on you and went with someone richer, well, bro had it worse. Whatever bad luck situation you had with a woman and you think it ended very badly, throw it out of the window because 26-year-old Chad was in his MILF phase where he met this 33-year-old woman in a dog park. Little did he know, a few weeks later, he was about to be touched by a sharp knife by her 108 times now this story isn't really new it's from may of 2018 but there has been an update to the case so we're going to talk about this 26 year old chad was brutally attacked by a woman he's just started seeing in may of 2018 the couple have been smoking marijuana before the attack leading the prosecutors to ultimately charge the woman with involuntary manslaughter which has described as a marijuana fueled psychotic episode the woman faced up five years behind bars but in january of this year the judge has sentenced her only to two years of probation and 100 hours of community service because guess what in california if you're under the influence of marijuana you have the license to do whatever the fuck you want you want to touch someone with a knife and get away with it with having no jail time only two years of probation and 100 hours of community service D smoke marijuana you want to pew pew someone smoke marijuana first and be like i had i had a psychotic episode and the judge is going to be like oh understandable i'm so sorry that you went under that you know it was definitely not your choice to go under that psychotic episode i understand and you will get away with it you want to free kick at someone's dog and get away with it smoke marijuana first you want to run over your ex with your truck because she took all your money ruined your life and took your dog with her or your children with her smoke marijuana first you get away with it this is literally what the judge is saying apparently i did not know there's a law like this in california chad an accountant and the woman at audio lodges i don't know what this is but met at a dark park in virtual county a few weeks before chad's death in spring of 2018 according to his father who said the couple spent considerable time together in his son's final weeks the woman has gone to chas thousand oaks california apartment in may uh, 27th and according to the prosecutors the couple took several hits from a bong loaded with marijuana entering chas apartment in an early morning hours of may 28th the next day police found chad in a pool of blood and the girl screaming hysterically with a knife still in her hand according to the prosecutors who said that before the law enforcement could remove the long serrated breed knife from her hands she repeatedly touched herself with the knife that she had in her hand into her own neck so not only she touched the 26 year old chats 108 times once the police found her she touched herself 43 times in the neck chad didn't survive out of the 108 times but for some reason just when the police got there 43 times that she she touched herself in her own neck she survived and guess what she did after she unalived the chat? She also went and she touched the dog, her dog as well with the knife. Now, I've been looking for the court video. I can't find it because I really want to know the excuse that she had in court. Where she said, did she just say like, oh, I don't know what happened. I blinked and he was, you know, touched uh, 108 times. Or did she say the truth about, oh, he said he'll take the garbage out, but he didn't. That's why, you know, he deserves getting touched 108 times. So for the men watching this video, if your girl tells you to do the dishes, take the garbage out, dress nicely, demands you stuff, do as she says. We don't know what people are capable of now this obviously doesn't only you know involve women it also men who are capable of doing these things but i refuse to believe this was just a marijuana effect or any like psychotic episodes i refuse to believe it was out of depression as well or she was going through some midlife crisis in my opinion she shouldn't just get jail time she should be locked away in an asylum in a psychotic crazy people you know the place where joker is fucking locked up that's the place she needs to be locked away for life having no human interaction because no matter what you're going through in your life you can't just snap and just you know touch someone 108 times but unfortunately sometimes these things happen especially when a man or a woman find their partner cheating just right in the act i've seen some videos or fucking horrifying ones where they just keep on like touching them with uh, the knife and those people get life in sentences why did she get a pass for this this is what her defense attorney had to say on the surface yes it sounds like a horrible result 
But the fact is, putting together the totality of the events, putting it all into context, factoring in what kind of person she was, factoring in she didn't know what was in the marijuana bong and had no reason to expect that it would produce a violent reaction. So I guess it only affected her, huh? Or maybe it affected both of them. Both of them turned into a zombie and decided to play a game called fight to death. Like, this shit is stupid. I can't believe the judge, like, bought into all of this. Even the five years is too little for this. There are people who are getting caught for the smallest things and they're serving, like, 20 to 30 years. Two-year probation and uh, fucking 100-hour community service because that is going to teach her, you know, what she did was wrong. Even if you, like smoke weed yes you will start seeing stars your mind will start doing backflips you will still you will see giraffes uh, with wings uh, flying in the air but you're still aware of the shit going on around you. you you know what's good and you know what's bad and this is why i think people over the age of 60 shouldn't be presidents should this shouldn't be uh judges shouldn't be any of it because they are going through a mental psychotic episode themselves. Look at the president of the US now. It's a joke. He's eating ice creams and sleeping 18 hours a day. Chad's father came up and said that not only Chad didn't get justice, the family didn't ju get justice as well. He said that the whole system is a joke and people are fuming after this as well. And people in California can literally, after seeing this case, after it went viral, they can literally be doing anything and they will be using, if they get like a harsh sentence, they're just gonna bring up this excuse with their attorney and be like, yo, use this. This woman did this and she got no, uh, you know, life sentences. Take mine away. Use this as an excuse. And my question is, what did the dog do? Okay, I understand. Maybe the guy didn't take out the garbage like she said. But what did the dog do? What? The dog what saw blood and just started running away and she was like, witness. It just fucking ran after the dog and just like touched the dog, I don't know, 200 times or something. And guess what she's doing now? She is walking the streets like an, any normal person. And, you know, who knows? She won't do it again. But she definitely hacked the system. She's going to be smoking marijuana before she does anything else. And guess what's going to happen next as well? She's going to use the same excuse and be like, oh, I wasn't myself. I I'm sorry. Can I go to my community service now and get back to my life? Honestly, the judge should be charged with this accountable, responsible for the next person that's going to get unalived by her. Because once the gate is open for unaliving people, it is much easier now for her to do it. If it was once, it was an accident. Totally understandable. But put yourself in her situation. You sit on chat and you touch him 108 times. That is no accident. What the fuck you think that was? You think you were in a cartoon? There's absolutely no excuse for this. I hope the people responsible, the judge, the defense, her defense attorney, they will all need to be accountable for this because this, this is just fucked up. So what did this video teach you? If you start dating someone and you see red psychotic flags, run, run away. Getting lost in the sauce, it's not worth it because you're going to end up like Chad, your face open and swimming in your own pool. Not only that, if you have a cat or a dog, they will be going down there with you. So yeah, just be careful who you date. Check out the red flags. You know, some people are really at the urge of like breaking down and doing the most fucked up shit ever. Just keep an eye out. I've met people like this but obviously they would never take it this far i'm sure most of us most of you experienced experienced this as well but i just thought i just saw this news i just saw this video i just thought if you haven't seen it i'll share it with you but yeah take it for yourself i'll see you in the next one